The Biggest Snowman Ever by Stephen Kroll, illustrated by Jenny Bassett. Once there were two mice who fell in love with the same snowman, and this is how it happened. On a bright winter day, the mayor of Mouseville announced the town snowman contest. Whoever makes the biggest snowman will win a prize, he declared. All of the mice were excited. The judging of the contest will take place in two weeks, said the mayor. Good luck to all of you. I'm going to make a really big snow princess, said Penelope. I'm going to make a really big snow Martian, said James. I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever, said Clayton, the house mouse. His friend Desmond, the field mouse, frowned. No, you're not. I'm going to make the biggest snowman ever. Oh, yeah, said Clayton. Oh, yeah, said Desmond. That night, it snowed and snowed. Huge drifts covered driveways, roads, and fields. It was the perfect beginning for a snowman contest. In town, Penelope began her snow princess, and James began his snow Martian. Out in the country, Clayton and Desmond began their snowmen. Clayton made a snowball and rolled it along the ground. The more he rolled it, the bigger it got. Before long, he had a large base for his snowman. Not far away, Desmond was doing the same thing. The next day, Clayton made a huge snowball for his snowman's belly. Not far away, Desmond did the same. That night, Clayton brought his dad out to see his snowman. Dad scratched his head. I don't know, son. It's going to be big, but I'm not sure it will be the biggest. Clayton smiled up at him. I'm just getting started, he said. Dad whispered in his ear. If you want to work faster, use a wheelbarrow to carry the snow. A little later, Desmond brought out his Uncle Vernon. I don't know, said Vernon. It's going to be big, but will it be the biggest? Desmond smiled. I'm just getting started, he said. Vernon whispered in his ear. If you want to work faster, use a wheelbarrow to carry the snow. The next day, Clayton filled his wheelbarrow with snow. He piled the snow onto the snowman. Then he rolled another snowball for the snowman's head. Not far away, Desmond did the same. Just a few days later, Desmond ran into town to look at James Snow Martian and Penelope's Snow Princess. Hmm, he said, all of our snow people are the same size. That afternoon, Clayton made the same discovery. The next day, while working on his snowman, Clayton had an idea. He brushed the snow off his gloves and walked toward Desmond. At the same moment, Desmond had an idea. He brushed the snow off his gloves and walked toward Clayton. They bumped into each other and fell down. I have an idea, said Clayton. I have an idea, said Desmond. We should do this together, said Clayton. No one said we couldn't, said Desmond. First, they rolled each part of Desmond's snowman over to the middle of the field. Then, they rolled each part of Clayton's snowman over. They piled the snowballs on top of one another. Clayton dropped a floppy hat on the snowman's head. Desmond added a long scarf, huge coal eyes, and a giant carrot nose. When they were done, 
they had built the biggest snowman ever. The morning of the contest, field mice on snowmobiles brought the judges to the country. You both win the prize, said the mayor, handing Clayton and Desmond a large wedge of Swiss cheese. Let the celebration begin. Everyone gathered to dance around the snowman, drink hot chocolate, and eat donuts. We did it, said Clayton and Desmond, jumping up and down. We did it together.